Yo, what is going on, everyone? My name is Nick or the Notorious Fantasy, and in today's video, I'm bringing you guys week two defensive pickups or defense streams for week number two. Week one, pretty much in the books. There are still two Sunday night games to go as I have recorded this. Obviously, maybe you're watching this the next day on Tuesday, and they have already played, but with that said, we're going to be going over defenses that I think you guys should pick up for week two that have very, very, very good matchups and ideal matchups to start this week. Now, I typically do this video because A, I don't really draft a defense in the draft to have them for every single week. I kind of draft them for week one and I let them go week two, week three, week four. I keep cutting defenses and adding new ones every single week to stream them. So I think that you guys should do that too. If your matchup is tough for your defense, just let them go and pick up a new defense every single week. If you guys want information on which defense or any other fantasy football information that you may want, some starts, some sits, some rankings, all that stuff is on my channel. So please make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. It's free. I put out content every single day to help you guys win that 2020 fantasy football championship. So with that said, let's get right into it. Week two defensive pickups for fantasy football in 2020. We begin with the LA Rams at the Philadelphia Eagles right now, 30.1% owned on NFL.com. The ownership percentage is obviously going to be different on ESPN, Yahoo. So there's a reason why there's like five defenses in this video. So if they're not available in your league, there's other teams that I do end up liking. So week one, the LA Rams went up against the Dallas Cowboys on Sunday night. The Rams ended up obviously winning that game. So week one up against the Dallas Cowboys, they allowed 17 points. They had three sacks and seven quarterback hits. Now I know that doesn't scream out as a defense that's going to be scoring a million points on a week in and week out basis. The LA Rams do have quite the good defense, but why I really like them this week is due to that matchup at the Philadelphia Eagles. Last week, the Washington football team dismantled that Eagles offensive line, ate them for breakfast, chewed them out, and threw them out the goddamn window because that offensive line was getting beaten. It was it was embarrassing. Week one, the Washington football team had two interceptions, one fumble recovery, three turnovers, eight sacks, and 15 quarterback hits. Now, the Washington football team's front seven is very good, and a key to a good fantasy defense is having a good front seven because they are pressuring the quarterback. 15 quarterback hits and eight sacks means that the defense is putting the quarterback in a bad spot to where he may make a faulty decision and throw a pick or to where he may get rocked and fumble the ball. So, with that said, the LA Rams defense, you would think as a whole, would be better than the Washington football teams. It just is, in my opinion. So, going up against the Eagles, going up against that battered offensive line, I think we could see the Rams be the best defense on the week for week number two. That's why I got the Rams here at number one for my defensive pickup list. This is in order by uh, my preference of who I would pick up in order. So if you guys were wondering about that, that's how this is listed. At number two, we have the Washington football team going up against the Arizona Cardinals, 3.1% owned. Now the Arizona Cardinals somehow fiended off that 49ers defense and ended up winning the game. But that doesn't mean that necessarily they're going to go to town on the Washington football team because they didn't, like, demolish the 49ers. It was a very close game. Like I read off before, week one against Philadelphia, the Washington football team, they had two picks, one fumble recovery, three turnovers, eight sacks, and 15 quarterback hits. Up against the Arizona Cardinals, that offensive line, also not very good. They don't have the greatest offensive line. Now, Kyler Murray can make plays with his legs to avoid Chase Young and friends trying to absolutely murder Kyler Murray's 5'6 ass in the backfield. But at the end of the day, I think the Washington football team's defense is going to be very strong in this game and be worthy of being the second priority for your defense. Let me know down below if there's any defenses that are missing, maybe some defense that you prefer over the Washington football team, 3.1% owned. Next team in the exact same game, the Cardinals defense versus the Washington football team, 2.1%. 0.3% owned. Now, they don't have the greatest defense in the NFL. They actually don't have a very good defense at all, but what they showed last week was very good against the San Francisco 49ers. They only allowed 20 points. They had three sacks and five quarterback hits, and multiple times inside of the game, I noticed that Jimmy Garoppolo would make a pass, and guys would just drop it. The, the defense was dropping it, not that his receivers were dropping it. Jimmy G just was throwing these fucking ducks that were not looking very good, and the Cardinals just didn't intercept the ball. That's kind of based off of luck. You would think that maybe it would go their way next week up against Dwayne Haskins. Now, Dwayne Haskins last week did something which I expect Dwayne Haskins to do. It's because Riverboat Ron is going to be calling the plays to try to not make Dwayne Haskins make mistakes. He's a young quarterback, second year in the NFL. They're like, you know what? Let's put him in a situation where he does not make 
any mistakes. And he didn't make any mistakes because they ran the ball a lot. I think the Cardinals may be able to stop the run. Mostert didn't really run free on the Cardinals defense last week. And the Washington football running backs are much worse than Mostert. Now, I understand that Mostert did gash them on that one play through the pass catching game. But that's not a fucking run. It's a pass. So I think the Cardinals defense will be pretty good this week. I like them here at 2.3% owned. Pretty much going to be easy to find. Next defense to be talking about here is the Browns going up against the Cincinnati Bengals. 2.4% owned on NFL.com. If you guys have enjoyed this video thus far, please make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Like I said, I put out content every single day to help you guys win that 2020 Fantasy Football Championship. And while you're down there, check out OverlayDFS.com. They are my sponsor. They're a website that has DFS games where you can... My favorite thing to do on there is the matchup shop. You go one player versus another player. Some are straight up, some are plus or minus fantasy points, and you pick one player, bet a set amount on it, and see if you guys can win. If you check out my video from last week, we won a bunch of money on those picks, so please make sure that you guys check that out, and I will be making a video on Thursday and Sunday, most likely, talking about the picks that you guys could take, so you guys can win some money. So the Browns versus the Cincinnati Bengals here. Week one against Baltimore, the Browns' defense was absolute shit. One fumble recovery, two sacks, and four quarterbacks hits with the Browns they're a good defense but what do you expect against the Baltimore Ravens they have a great offensive line one of the best quarterbacks in the game some receivers who are really fast and they have a tight end who's amazing what do you expect I didn't expect their defense to be all that good in that game so I'm not really even going to put that in my brain as a reason why not to pick them up the Chargers week one played up against the Cincinnati Bengals they ended up winning because the Bengals kicker ended up choking they probably could have won the game if it had went to overtime and then Burrow did what Burrow did because Burrow was looking very good with that said 13 points allowed one interception one foam recovery three sacks and six quarterback hits the Cincinnati Bengals offensive line is not the greatest at all the Browns defense should be able to sack Burrow a couple times and maybe cause him to make a couple of plays that are wrong he throws a pick he does this he does that to make it so that they don't score all that many points and that the Browns defense is very viable for week number two in fantasy football I'm not saying that they're going to destroy the Cincinnati Bengals I wouldn't even be surprised if the Bengals won the game but with Joe Burrow being such a young quarterback going up against guys like Miles Garrett on that defense is going to be worrisome for Burrow, so I think the Cincinnati Bengals could end up winning this game, but I will be picking up the Browns defense on the week since I think this is such a good matchup. And final defense to pick up for the week, we got the Bears versus the New York Football Giants. So as I'm recording this, the New York Football Giants have not even played their first ever NFL game, but this is going to be a tough matchup. The Bears defense is very good. Danny Dimes is a young quarterback. The wide receivers already banged up from the New York Football Giants. Golden Tate is going to end up missing tonight, so it seems like the Bears should have a pretty good time handling Danny Dimes. 46.7% owned on NFL.com. Week one up against the Lions, the Bears only allowed 23 points, one INT, one sack, and five quarterback hits, and that's going up against Matthew Stafford, one of the better quarterbacks in the NFL. I think that in this scenario, the Bears defense is just going to be good against a quarterback in Danny Dimes, who last year I dubbed as Danny Fumbles because he does have a fumbling issue. Maybe he just won't anymore. Maybe the Steelers defense doesn't eviscerate him, and in that case, I'm probably not picking up the Bears, and you guys will know by now what ended up happening, but for right now, I believe the Bears will be able to have a good game against the Giants, pressuring young Danny Dimes to make some mistakes, maybe throw a pick, maybe fumble, and get sacked a couple of times, and at the end of the day, the Bears will end up victorious in that game, most likely unless Mitchell Trubisky ends up choking it away. So thank you guys all so much for watching. Let me know which of these defenses you prefer. Let me know if there's a defense that I didn't even talk about in this video that you guys prefer to be better than any of these defenses. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Please make sure to check out Overlay DFS. Link down below in the description. Make sure to click that subscribe button down below because I love each and every single one of you motherfuckers. And I hope that you guys have a great rest of your guys' day. Have fun watching Monday Night Football if you're watching this on Monday. On Tuesday if you're watching this, let's get ready for some Thursday night football. Let's win some money. Let's win some fantasy leagues. I love you all. Have a great rest of your guys' day, and I'll see you motherfuckers tomorrow. Goodbye!